In this video, we will guide you through creating, editing, and exporting flags between the Gen4 display and Operations Center. We'll begin in the Gen4 display. You can access your flags category by interacting with the menu button in the bottom right of your screen. Then click the Applications tab on the left hand side of the screen. Select the Flags button within the Applications list. To add flag categories to your list, Select one of the blank boxes in the list. A pop-up panel will appear, where you can then select the Add Category option. A keyboard will appear, allowing you to name the flag category. Once you have named the category, a pop-up menu will appear. Select the type of flag you would like your named flag to be, then hit Save. Once you have a flag category saved, it will appear in your category list on the right half of your display. Now we'll accelerate the footage to also add a line and an area flag, to cover each of them equally in this example video. Now to place a specific flag in the field during operation, select one of the flag categories in your flag category list. This will automatically place a flag where you are in the field. Note, if your flag type is a line or an area flag, when you click the flag in the category list, it will record where you are operating through the field until you press the flag button again to stop the recording as we show on screen. Now that your flag data is captured in the Gen4 display, we'll proceed to export it to Operations Center. Navigate back to the menu screen, then click the System tab. Then hit the Files Manager selection in the middle of the screen. If your application has a connection to Operations Center, you can hit this button at the top and send your files this way via wireless data transfer. Otherwise, we'll continue to show you how to export via a USB with this button. Select Custom Export. Select Next to export to the USB. Change the data source to your farm or field. You can either choose to export just the flags by clicking the Edit Pencil button and selecting the flags check mark, or check mark the box to export all of the field setup data. Finally, hit export. Now to interact with and modify the data in Op Center. Again, if you have wireless data transfer and send your data this way, your data will populate in Operation Center automatically. Starting in the files page, you can upload the files from your USB to your Op Center. Select Upload Files in the top corner, then select or drag the zip file. Once the file is completely loaded into Operations Center, you will be able to view, edit, and create more flags from the ones you collected while in the field. To do this, we'll go to the Setup dropdown and select Land. Select the field that you are operating in, then navigate to the Field Asset bar and select the Flags tab. From the Flags tab, you can edit the flags that you place in the field and edit and add the flag categories you made on the display. If you wish to add a new flag, you can press the Add button in the top right. Here you can select the kind of flag you want to place and its type. In this example, we make a point flag. An Operations Center will enable you to place it down wherever you choose. You can edit the Flags category by selecting the Flag Category drop-down list. If you would like to add or edit your flag category list, select the Edit Flag Categories button. Once you are finished editing your flags to have the flags that you created and edited available on your display, navigate to Setup File Creator and create a setup file, or navigate to Work Planner and create a work plan. Make sure to include the field that the flags are associated with and the flags. Now back in the machine and on the display, to visualize the flags for the field that you are in, you can import the setup file from the file manager that is in the menu under the Systems tab. Or navigate to the work list under the Work Setup application and join the planned work group. 